Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss Lyon hypothesis. In mammals, we know that female have XX and male have XY chromosome. So here, female have 2X, but male have single X. So the dose of X linked gene in female is double than male. So this situation is very detrimental when there is a difference between the dose of gene that may be lethal sometime. So how this dose is made equal between male and female in case of mammals. In 1961, Mary F. Lyon stated that during early development One X chromosome in females is inactivated. So this chromosome is inactivated during early development and this inactivation is random. Let's understand this with the diagram. Suppose this is female gamete and this have one X chromosome <laughs> and this is male gamete. This have another X chromosome. When they will fuse, so this is female gamete, then this will be male gamete. When they will fuse, they will form a zygote and this, this zygote have two X chromosomes. One from mother and another from father. So these are two X chromosomes and this is zygote. Then this zygote will divide by mitosis and form embryo, embryo to new baby. Then in embryo during early development, suppose we have some cells in embryo. So suppose we have these cells, these cells are formed from mitosis from zygote. So this is embryo. In this embryo, all cells have one X chromosome from father and one from mother. So what Mary Lyon is saying that during early development, so this is early development. 1X chromosome in female is inactivated. So 1X out of 2, 1 will be inactivated. And this inactivation is random. Means in that cell, this chromosome is inactivated. In this cell, maybe this chromosome is inactivated. In that cell, maybe this chromosome is inactivated. In this, maybe this. And in this, maybe this. This inactivation is random. Suppose this one chromosome is X chromosome is number one and this is two. So in some cell, number one is inactivated, but in some other cell, number two is inactivated. So this is called a random inactivation. But the important thing to note here is all the descendant of these cells. Suppose I am taking here this cell. We know that during development, this cell will further divide and forms many cells. So all the cells, all the cells that will arise from this cell will have, if this have chromosome X number one is inactivated, then all cell will have one number one X inactivated. This will be like that. If here 
नंबर टू इज इनएक्टिवेटेड देन ऑल द डिसेंडेंट ऑफ दिस सेल विल हैव इनएक्टिवेटेड क्रोमोजोम नंबर टू सो दिस इज लाइवन हाइपोथेसिस दिस हाइपोथेसिस इज कॉल्ड लाइव ऑन हाइपोथेसिस विच सेज दैट ड्यूरिंग अर्ली डेवलपमेंट वन एक्स क्रोमोजोम इन फीमेल इज इनएक्टिवेटेड एंड दिस इनएक्टिवेशन इज रैंडम बट वहन मोर देन वन मोर देन टू एक्स क्रोमोजोम आर देयर सपोज दिस इज सिचुएशन देन ऑल द क्रोमोजोम एक्सेप्ट वन ऑल द एक्स क्रोमोजोम एक्सेप्ट वन विल बी inactivated so here we have 3x chromosome so except this except one all two will be inactivated this is lyon hypothesis which says that during development one x chromosome is inactivated and this inactivation is random